This week, two issues have highlighted significant divisions within the Labour Party. Transgender law reform and NHS reform. So no surprise that Keir Starmer avoided both today. Instead, returning to the safer topic of long waits for ambulances. And the Labour leader started with a test for the PM about timing. Mr Speaker, it's three minutes past twelve. If somebody phones, <laughs> if somebody phones 999 now because they have chest pains and fear it might be a heart attack, when would the Prime Minister expect an ambulance to arrive? If our heart attack victim had called for an ambulance in Peterborough at 12.03, it wouldn't arrive until 10 past two. If they were in Plymouth, it wouldn't arrive until 20 to three. The Prime Minister responded with his usual lines, Labour's too close to the unions, is playing politics and won't back the government's new minimum service law. Rishi Sunak also attacked the party's record in the one government it currently runs. Mr Speaker, I noticed the one place the honourable gentleman didn't mention was Wales. <laughs> where we know ambulance times are even worse than they are in England, Mr Speaker. No, and the reason, the reason that is the case, because this is not about politics. This is about the fact that the NHS in Scotland, in Wales, in England, is dealing with unprecedented challenges, recovering from COVID, dealing with a very virulent and early flu season, and everyone is doing their best to bring those wait times down. From then on, Conservative MPs shouted Wales at Keir Starmer. Just listen. By one o'clock, our heart attack victim is in a bad way. Sweaty, dizzy, chest tightening. This is a heart attack and they're shouting, this is your constituent. The Labour benches were equally rowdy. While repeat offender Rachel Reeves kept uncharacteristically quiet, her shadow cabinet colleagues unleashed a chorus of disapproval. But Rishi Sunak cheered his side with this finale. When it comes to the honourable gentleman, he isn't just for the free movement of people, he's also got the free movement of principles. Yeah. Very good, very good, said the Home Secretary. More shouted Tory MPs. And then this. The other big political story this week, the UK government's controversial move to block Scotland's new gender recognition law and its implications for devolution. Mr Speaker, let me be crystal clear. This is the Conservative Party seeking to stoke a culture war against some of the most marginalised people in society. And Scotland's democracy is simply collateral damage. Are we not now on a slippery slope from devolution to direct rule? Yeah. No, Mr Speaker, of course we're not. This is simply about protecting UK-wide legislation about ensuring the safety of women and children. This is not about the devolution settlement. Well, the SNP is highly likely to return to that sensitive and pretty divisive issue in the coming weeks. And if strikes and delays in the NHS continue, Labour may also resurrect their questions. So get comfortable, because it looks like a political war of attrition has begun. <laughs>